who do you run the great ideas by? Well, you know, there's a lot of controversy about you. So try to figure out which ones are good versus bad. Well, I mean, well, I mean, that's one of those questions. It just depends on the nature of the industry. But I'll give you an example of, of the one group I don't trust versus one I trust a little bit more, which is that um, if you start using something like focus groups, especially if it's a new sort of more radical innovation people have never seen, they're not very valuable. I would um, um, this notion of going directly where users are actually operating is probably a good idea. And the other thing that you want to be careful of is selling ideas to managers who manage work they don't understand. And I'm going to get in trouble with this as well. Um, if you look at the fate of most enterprise software that's implemented, the average implementation fails. And typically, it's sold to an IT department with no um, discussion with the users at all. And at Stanford, we're having this horrible Oracle implementation right now. It is absolutely horrible. And Stanford systematically ignored the, the role of users in it. So, so that's like sort of one pathway, but I mean, there's ideas and ways to increase your odds of success. But for the most part, I think innovation is a business that's fraught with failure, and you've got to accept that.